Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd? Or mayo. Or your boy Floyd. You don't know that's what's in here. Then why are we wearing boy Floyd shirts? <laughs> Hey, is Boy Floyd like Boy George's cousin? Wow. <laughs> Video games monthly. Retro games sent right to your door that you get to keep. You fill out a list for the consoles that you want games for. You populate a list of the games you already have and you don't get any duplicates. And this lovely lady right here loves to blindly pass the games off to me. I do. All right. So, first of all, for J Love and anyone else who likes bubble wrap. <laughs> I love the bubble wrap. Next up, so this is the card that tells you populate that list so we don't send you duplicates. And we got a door hang. Oh, this makes our third door hanger. So. We've got this one before, and I'm not going to do the motions because I believe <laughs> a certain gif was made afterwards. <laughs> but uh, do not disturb. What, this gif? Uh, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm playing with my joystick, which is good advice. You don't want people to bug you while you're playing your games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's it. <laughs> nice. Bring. So we do the three game a month box, and uh, this one up gives us four awesome retro games. Such as... Ooh, this guy looks like Wreck-It Ralph. Okay, uh, I think this is like Wreck-It Ralph's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> so Charlie Blast's Territory. I have never heard of such a game. Seriously, I've never seen this label. He's got, there's a bomb in his name, and he's got a box of dynamite. So is this like a Bomberman ripoff? I would like to note that there is a end label. Actually, there's two end labels on this. Yeah. There was one there before, and then somebody put another one on there. They're like, nope, I don't like that one. <laughs> A weird new to us game. Yep. Now it's Sega. Hey. Game Gear. <laughs> VGM hooks us up with yep. a lot of Game and Gear it's games. Krusty's Fun House. Krusty. I, it doesn't work when it's about saying Pee Wee's Fun House. <laughs> Pee Wee's Fun <Fight> House. <laughs> but it is Krusty's Fun House. I played a lot of Krusty's Fun House on the Super Nintendo, so I'm curious to see how different or similar. I get it's kind of a fun little puzzler game because you have to get these mice to the end of the stage. And this is the part that you're not going to like. They kill the mice. Why? Because they want them gone. That's terrible. Uh, the ways that they do it is usually pretty <gasps> bad, too. They blow them up. They electrocute them. Oh, oh, oh. I don't Poor like mice. that game. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for your next game? Ready. It's not English. <laughs> Do we get a Super Famicom? No. Famicom? No. <laughs> 64. Well, it's not English, but I don't think we're going to need much English to it's play Yoshi! Yoshi's Island. Hey, you know what? A game that I was super excited about but disappointed in once it came out was Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo because it was its own property, its own intellectual property. And this goes to prove it because you have a sequel to it. Yoshi's Island on Super Nintendo is Super Mario World 2. No, it's a lie. It's Yoshi. <laughs> Somebody's got some issues. I do have issues. But this this will be a fun game. And like I said, we don't need to know Japanese to play this because it is a fun little platformer with amazing visuals. 
ニンテンドー64の世界ヨッシーストーリー Now this next, one, this next one's a little weird because I, I know you told them you don't want sports games Oh no But it's a sealed box sports game、hmm. So F1 2002 on Game Boy Advance So does that cons- As a sports Actually,、game? hey, you know what, Nerdlings? Quick little question. What do you think? Racing games. Are they sports games? And at what point would you not consider it a sports game、yeah. if you do? So, something like,、uh, like F1 racing, well, that seems like a sports thing, sports game, sports topic. But Mario Kart, that's, that's not sports, right? So, where do you draw that line? Yeah. I will say this. You know where we draw the line on sealed games? We don't have them sealed. Oh no, the collectability. You know, the person packing this at VGM was like, they're going to be so happy. It's a sealed game. They're going to be so excited. And then we were just like, RIP! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> That. The cartridge is this big for poor. A box. A well, box you've got to have room for the main. That、bowl. is true. So, all right. You got your precaution booklet and your manual. Is it clear? And it is not. not. Oh. Oh, EA. Was the, EU. Is the color <laughs> is the color manual like an extra upcharge? Well, yeah. So, we did get a nice sealed box, but we tore it open because, you know what, sports game or not, racing game or not. We want Still gonna check to it out. It. And looking at the back, actually, it doesn't look that bad, like for the graphics. Granted, that was on a teeny tiny Game Boy Advance screen, so, you, you know, tell. I'm gonna be playing this via the Game Boy Player on the TV, so we'll see how well it looks then. It is always nice to get boxed games, and love to get the 64 stuff and the handheld in our area. That stuff is so pricey. You know what I'm gonna do? Got a little bonus for you, Nerdlings. We often get asked about using VGM because、uh, sometimes for some people the price doesn't seem like it's, it's there for the、mm-hmm. games that we get. Here's what I'm gonna do though I recently did some game hunting at a flea market. A flea market. This is not a specialty shop, this is a flea market. Now, there a are some people、shop. out there who don't have the flea markets like we do. But basically,、uh, so it's a place where people take their junk. It's like if you're having a yard sale, a, a garage meet, sale, a swap a meet, a boot sale, car boot sale. Put your stuff in a booth and they sell it for you. And then, like, at the end of the month, you come in and you get your cut of the paycheck. You know, like you made a hundred bucks and they give you eighty bucks because the rest goes to the booth. Whatever. I'm going to throw a picture up on the screen of the games that I saw in one of these booths. And I want you to take a look at the price of some of these games. Things like Friday the 13th, things like Super Mario Bros. 3. These are games that are not difficult to find. And、no. these are all cartridge only games. Look at these prices. So, Nerdlings, that is why I love using VGM because one, it introduces me to games that I haven't heard of or that I probably wouldn't pick up for myself. And also, the price is there for us, you know, like once you factor in、uh, the shipping and everything. I think it's about $37 with the shipping.、Yeah. But I got four games, and in our area, it would not be out of the realm of, you know, $10 each game.、Yeah. So it's a great deal for me, especially with prices like that in the picture I showed. It's also good for people who can't get out very often to go game hunting. This guarantees you at least three games a month. That's very true. But I do like that you point out, you know, people that can't get out. We've lived, we've both lived in small enough towns where if they have a flea market or any kind of shop, you go in there and it's basically your grandma's place. <laughs> so you're not going to find any games in there. You might find something with like potpourri or grandpa for sale. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you're interested, definitely check out VGM. I always leave a link in the description below. Hit them up, get your own box. Tell them, do you nerds sent you so that they know that we're spreading the good word about、yeah. retro gaming goodness? And leave some comments on any of these games if you know anything about Charlie Blast, if you killed some mice, if you like Yoshi speaking Japanese, or、uh, if you're racing some cars around. We'd love to hear those comments. Leave a like on the video if you happen to like it. 
Hit subscribe, hit that notification bell because you want to know when the next VGM is coming. It could be next month or it could be next month. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to know what we're doing out and about in the real world so that you know next month when a VGM has dropped next month and to go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there and we would love to see you in our merchandise. And don't forget, nerdlings, if we like it, we nerd it. I was just polishing the joystick. Gosh. Trying to find the reboot button. One of these days I'm getting an elbow to the face. You are never going to get an elbow. I'm gonna get an elbow to the face. Video games monthly. Which is what? Floyd! <laughs> and make sure. Thank <laughs> you.